Welcome back. We're in the kitchen now with Mike Loosely from Glass Bazaar, and today we're making a delicious dessert, chocolate mousse. That sounds yummy. How are you? Yes, doing well. How are you doing good, today? Good. Good to have you here. Good. Of course. Always so glad to be here. So what struck me is there's really not a lot of ingredients over here nope. in the kitchen. Um, that's one of the things I do. I like showing off that desserts are actually a lot easier than everyone expects. Um, okay. So chocolate mousse, one of those things that sounds really fancy and, you know, might take forever to do. and. Really, it's simple as five ingredients, I believe six ingredients max. Awesome, it didn't take um, that long. Nope, not at all. Okay. Um, so what you do is you start, you can either do it over low temperature, or if you have a double boiler, mm -hmm. um, you can go ahead and do that. But I use four egg yolks and four tablespoons of sugar. Okay. Then we add a tablespoon of vanilla and th a cup and one quarter of heavy cream. Okay. And you mix it together until it becomes kind of a little bit thicker and pale yellow. Okay, and how long do you leave uh, it there? You let it just cool just to about room temperature. Mm -hmm. uh, while you're doing that, you're going to melt eight ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. Okay. Just barely melts. It takes about a minute and a half. Stir it every 30 seconds. It gets a uh, perfect consistency. Now, can you use a dark chocolate or you just stick you with semi-sweet? You can. I would up the sugar amount if you did dark chocolate. Okay. Or if you like it a little bit less sweet, then dark chocolate would be perfect with the four tablespoons. Okay. So first, you're going to mix in the melted chocolate into the custard mixture. Okay. And when you get that all formed, I've got a whipped cream over here that we did. It was three quarters a cup of heavy cream that I just whipped up for about three, four minutes on high speed. Okay. And then the reason that you do that is that's what adds the airy texture to mousse. Uh, oh, so you I got see. the whipped cream. Okay. We'll go in afterwards and then we're going to fold it together. And what that means is whenever you're mixing it, you don't take your spatula out of the mixture at all. Okay. So it's basically you're keep keeping it. from burning? Um, well, you're going to do this off the heat. So okay. yeah, off once you're, heat. once you, uh, have the eggs and everything cooked, you're going to do all of this off the heat so okay. that you're not continuously cooking the mixture. So we've got it all whoops, mixed up here. And then the easiest way is you do it in about half at a time. Okay. And then stir it together. Yep. Okay. And just real gently, you're just going to press it in. Awesome. Now while you're doing that, tell us what you got going on at the Glass Bazaar. So I have a cooking class. I'm doing an Italian feast on Monday. Uh, okay. Glass Bazaar, they do cooking and demonstrations where you come in, we do a three or four course meal for you. It's a couple hours. I present what I'm cooking. I show you how to do it with recipes and everything. Awesome. Can you sign um, up for that online? Not for mine this week. Uh, we are full already, but okay. they have plenty of classes every week that at Glass Bazaar, or I believe there's a link at WBIR that you can also uh, Awesome. connect to to sign up for classes yes, there. Yes, and we also will have the recipe here. And then, so yep. you put the rest of it in here? Yep. You just put it in the container and you just let it chill for about four hours okay. and it'll set up and you've got this beautiful mousse over there here. There you go. Topped off with some strawberries. Can you, you can use sugar. probably any fruit for that. Absolutely. I prefer blackberries and strawberries for mine to go with chocolate. That sounds great. All right. Yeah. Good to see you. Thanks right. for being here. Of course. Thanks for having me. And like me. we said, you can find that recipe on WBIR.com. Well, sometimes hopping in the